Good afternoon, everybody. In the midst of having to redo my videos that I did earlier, a uh, pop-up came in. So let me get there. Oops. Oops. Did it come? Did it... The way of the Lord is strength to the upright, but destruction shall be to the workers of iniquity. Proverbs 10, verse 29. Inspiration. God's ways always lead to life and goodness. It is always profitable to follow the leadings of the Holy Spirit. But if we choose to go the other way and follow the way of the wicked, we will find ourselves in much turmoil. Where God is not involved, there can never be any good that comes out of it. Amen. Prayer. Dear God, in this world, it can become very tempting to follow the ways that are contrary to yours. But Lord, I choose to remain in your path. May you keep me focused, Lord, in times I am tempted to sway in Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Well, there's another devotion that goes with it, walking with Jesus. Let us all walk together with Jesus this week. It's Holy Week, why not? Matthew 21, verses 6 through 9. Well, there's a lot of threes there. <laughs> so, walking with Jesus, this is written by Francis Taylor. Um, and this is on the King James Bible app that just keeps just simultaneously ringing in on my phone and singing the hallelujah chord. Quite beautiful anyway. This weekend we celebrate Palm Sunday. Well, so that was last Sunday. And we began, we begin the most solemn week of the year. Holy week. How will you walk with Jesus this week? <laughs> Apparently I'm going to be not walking today. I'm going to be relaxing. Wow. Try not to let that last minute chores of Easter preparation get in the way of your Lenten journey. Think of the ways you can use each day to walk with Jesus along his way to the cross and to his resurrection. Our churches give us many opportunities during Holy Week to gather in prayer and remembrance. Beyond that, we need to decide what we can do in our daily lives. Perhaps on Monday, we can make an attempt to help someone. Well, that was Monday. How about perhaps on how about today or tomorrow? <laughs> we can make an attempt to help someone call someone, do something for a stranger. Now we got on Tuesday. Perhaps we can take a minute and pray for those who have served as models of faith for us, both in our families as well as for those who have served in ministry. We might decide that we can fast each day of the week instead of just Friday. As Wednesday is traditionally called Spy Wednesday, we might think of someone we need to ask for forgiveness. Thursday is a great day to appreciate the Lord's examples of washing the feet of his disciples and thank those who have served us. Especially we should thank parents and others who care for us we take for granted. I wish I would have got this one on Sunday. Anyway, I've done a lot of this anyway. Friday we can think of those times when we have complained about the problems and pains of everyday life and offer them up as a small sacrifice when we remember the torture suffered on our behalf by Jesus. Saturday, we wait secure in the knowledge that Jesus has paid the ultimate price for our sins and has gained for us eternal life. Let us all walk together with Jesus this week. Palm Sunday, the people shouted, enjoy as Jesus entered the city, and then shouted for his death before the week was over. I just can't even imagine. Who cheers on someone being crucified? How sick and twisted is that? prayer. Lord, let us be people who shout for joy each day, not just for this week, but for every week of our lives in thanksgiving for the gift of salvation. Amen. Well, I hope you, jo you enjoyed this pop-up video and stay tuned. I've got lots more coming up. <laughs> Love to all bunches and bunches. Bye.